Welcome to TPM's 3-Minute Thursday. This week we want to take a look at how, how to set a watermark in EPDM. So the first thing you want to do is take a look at your drawing and uh, you want to edit your drawing sheet. Make sure you place a note that is linked to the uh, custom property. All right, so it's going to be in the current document. And I usually create a custom property called watermark here. Now, if you look at your custom properties, you'll see there's a watermark. You're going to want to note this property name. Uh, you might even want to go ahead and copy paste it now and use it later because we're going to need to reuse this. So once you have that set, then we'll come on over to EPDM and in your card editor you want to insert a uh, field. I usually create one and call it watermark. Now notice I'm on the drawing file card. If you need the watermark to show up on parts and assemblies, a uh, little harder to do but it can be done. Uh, typically I see this on drawings only. So, uh, so insert a variable called watermark. Uh, I would make it read only so your users can't change it. The system will control it. And what you want to do is go into the variables area and make sure you create a new attribute. Uh, you want to call it a custom property block name and then this is where you'll paste that uh, property name. Usually again it's called watermark syntax. Case sensitive sensitivity is important. And then don't forget to set your file extensions at least to uh, SolidWorks drawing. I've, you can see I've got mine set to a lot of different file types. We can use this watermark in uh, other documents besides SolidWorks. All right, so once you've got all this set up, then it's a matter of getting your workflow set up. So um, you'll have a default value for the watermark, and then as the documents move, move through, and we'll just take a look at from waiting for approval to approved, in the transition, you'll go into the actions and add an action. I've got one here already made. Uh, I typically will give it a description of set watermark. Uh, we're setting a var variable. The variable name is watermark. And then the value that you want to go in there, you can either key in the value or if you would prefer to use the um, uh, the destination state just come out to the right here and you'll see there's an option here called destination state and then what it'll do is it'll take on the name of the state that it's going into okay and that's pretty much it for setting up the watermark once you've got everything set up, it's just a matter of moving documents through your workflow and watching the text update like magic. And that's been TPM's 3-Minute Thursday. We'll see you next time.